Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Ong Studio, and today we're designing and making a geometric layered art with the laser cutter. As an architect, I've always loved the geometric patterns that you see in a cathedral's windows, and especially in Islamic architecture and art. For today's project, we'll be designing a simple version of a rosary window pattern and building it up in three layers of wood. Let's get started. For our materials and tools, we'll be using 8th inch walnut plywood, MaxiCure super glue, and a Glowforge laser cutter. That's it. This project will take a while to design, but making it will be simple. If you want to see a list of materials that I typically use for the projects here on my channel, make sure you scroll down to the description section of this video and click on the link to my resources page. To design this project, I used a software called Rhinoceros and started off by drawing the overall dimensions of the art. I knew I wanted it to be 10 and a half inches square because the maximum size in one direction of my Glowforge laser cutter is 11 inches. Then, I drew guides at 15 degree increments to help me design the geometric art for this project. I also drew circles at various diameters to help me determine the specific points on the 15 degree lines where I wanted to start my geometry and end it. I only need to design a specific pattern to work within one of the area of the guides because I'll be repeating it in every segment to create a symmetrical pattern. I also had to figure out the offsets for each line to give thickness to the shapes. This will ensure that the art comes out as one full piece that could be easily aligned and glued together to get the layered effect. When the overall design of the top layer was complete, I created the next layer by offsetting the shapes. Since I had the top layer designed, the layer beneath it needed to be offset inward so that the shapes reduced in size. This will create the terracing effect that layered art typically has. When the layers were complete, I extruded them to match the 8th inch thickness of the walnut plywood and created a 3D model by stacking the layers. I've been contemplating whether I want to keep the solid layer on the bottom or not. I decided to leave the bottom layer out so you can see through the voids of the third layer. However, you could leave that layer in if you really wanted to. Now that the components for this geometric layered art is designed, we're ready to start laser cutting this project. If you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to see more projects like this one. Also, if you want to purchase the digital design for this file, scroll down to the description section of this video where I'll share a link to it in my Etsy shop. Starting the process of laser cutting, I place the walnut plywood into my Glowforge laser cutter and I start laser cutting every component. Now that the pieces are cut, I remove the paper masking to reveal the beautiful walnut wood finish. Then
Then, I apply the MaxiCure super glue to the bottom side of the second layer, align the edges of the square frame with a third layer below, and press down to glue them into place. I wait about a minute for the glue to cure enough to hold the pieces in place, and I repeat this process with the top layer. Now the project is complete and the geometric layered art is ready for use. So that's how I design and make this geometric layered art. Let me know what you think about this project in the comment section below and remember to subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you again next week.